Oh, hi there. I guess you're wondering, I'm reading the Wind Up Bird Chronicles by Haruki Murakami. You gotta check out his work, it's really good. And a special thanks to my English teacher for exposing some of his stuff like the Elephant Fascist and the, and the Iceman. But seriously, check out Haruki Murakami's work, it's really good. Now, this today I'm making a video regarding to today's animation. And coming from an artist myself, I'm pretty much pissed off at what has has become. But before I get into the bad points, let me get into the glory days. I remember back then where people used to be hardworking, which is um like I said in the artistic world, especially with graphic novels. People used to hand draw stuff, like hand draw their animations such as the Looney Tunes, Popeye, and this this list could go on because I'm really talking about the stuff from the 50s and so on. But people used to do used to hand draw their stuff, and I actually see in the behind the scenes of the making of Looney Tunes and as well as uh, Mighty Mouse, and I can see the work um, done. And the artists, you could tell they actually enjoy doing their work. It's it's the same applies with the '90s, cause e cause the '90s, cause technology was evolving, but still people used to hand draw. Cause I actually thought the artwork of Rockwell's Modern Life, Hey Arnold, um, Rugrats, and all the other stuff from the '90s, they were actually good. Now I will say that this the um the art style it's starting to decline. Let's say from around the 2000s, because I will say from the 2000s there was a couple of good art, um, good animations, um, and such as Foster's Home of Imaginary Friends, and there was also Avatar: The Last Airbender. That was like, which is the last good show before Nickelodeon went downhill. But let me get into the bad points. When the 2000s began, I know something different. The animations has started to change and people just started getting lazy. I mean, I will say this because I never really got into a show called American Dragon Jake Long, but I will say the artwork is somewhat decent. But unfortunately, the people decided to replace the, the um, artists. So they pretty much changed the entire artwork, which I don't know why they did because now the um, characters, they like ana anatomy. So it's, I don't know what was the point. And I will say that now, now from today's artwork, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a group of people, seeing today's artwork, it's like watching a version of um, me um, shading stuff I used to draw off my folders when I was in grade school. And I'm mostly referring to Flapjack, Adventure Time, and, and the regular TV show. Well, a regular show, uh, which I don't really care because I never really got into it. Because seriously, people are people are just not as creative as they used to be. It's just the pain that, because besides the show sucking so bad, the artwork the artwork speaks for itself. And it's the same with taking shortcuts. Just like um, people using Autumn for the shortcuts um, into a singing career, as well as these crappy ass um, singing competition shows, that's what's going on. People are using 3D constantly too much, and this and and it's kind of the same with photography, because this reminds me of divine art. Because honestly, taking self portraits of yourself does not count as art, because it seems that people are too lazy to use a paper. A paper and pencil because keep in mind I started drawing when I was nine but I didn't discover this talent until I was 13 and I kind of had taught myself how to draw it's like people who say it's like people who kind of had to talk themselves how to play their own instrument but like I said Pete we're living in a lazy in a lazy society and I'm just and I'm just saying because now People are in this whole 3D crap. It's kind of the same with the comic books. 
because um, I remember from the early days, because I've gotten the older books such as um, Stag Shock, Rebirth of the Cru the Cool. I've got The Sandman, because all of it, it shows um, the anatomy, because the um, details of the bone structure, the muscle. But in today's comic books, it kind of lacks that. And when they do show it, they overdo it. It kind of reminds me of this documentary I watched in my sociology class last semester called Tough Guys. Because that's what they, they kind of talked about a little bit, the artwork. Overusing the anatomy and those that use that barely use little to show how tough a guy is. It's kind of the same thing with the, in the other issue is the feminine. It is the femin, feminine. Because um, being a female myself, I'm kind of pissed at what the books are now. Because the same thing, because with the animation, they're showing more showing more of, of, of a woman's body part. I'm mostly referring to them as half-naked. Some that are wearing thongs, their boobs exposed, and, and some of that stuff. Now, I, I am aware they did show this like in um, Watchmen and Sin City. The only difference is they didn't overdo it. But now, in today's books, they're making women um, um, look more slutty. That's another problem. And saying that they just want to, um, in some books, they just want to suck a guy's cock. I don't know about you guys, but it's becoming a headache on, on um, what, what, um, what animation has become. It's kind of the same with the CGI films. Because some of them, they didn't even hand draw the artwork. Now, I will say for Fighting Nemo, it was actually a good movie. And I did look at behind the scenes because actually the animators, they actually drawn out the story and stuff. They didn't go straight to um, making it 3D. So I'm just saying besides the cartoons, but the, um, but the graphic novels have lost its touch. And I've actually read the new X-Men books, which was crap, by the way. Because if you want to read some good books, look at the older stuff. Because trust me, you'll find the artwork is way better than today's. But really, in all honesty, if you're truly into art, I would suggest you start from scratch. Because even some of today's artists, such as... Um, Actually, I don't really know any for right now, but I will say Mark Criley, which I kind of follow him on YouTube, he hand draws his work because he's created Mickey Falls. I've read the books, but I just didn't care for it. But I will hopefully try to read, get his book, um, Brody's Ghost, which I heard is way better. But you, but um, I forgot to point out from when the 2000s began, there's um, very odd parents. Again, the artwork is a pretty um, cheesy and little to no effort. But I will say the same creators who created that show, Danny Pham, the artwork was way better. So I'm guessing the guy must have took some more lessons and improved it. And it's kind of same for the regular show. The artwork, because it was the same guy who created um, Flapjack. Regular show, the artwork has gotten a little better, but still, it lacks quality. So I'm guessing the creator should do some more of his work. But, um, that's really it. And I will say, regarding to the female thing, the females back then, they looked way better. They were actually pretty with, that, with their clothes on, not um, actually sh showing off to get a guy's attention. And I'm kind of referring to this from the newer X-Men and the newer Superman book about the relationship of Lois and Clark. And um, from what I've read, it, a lot of people were too ups were upset about it. But um, that's all I have to say. I'm Summer Freak 21 and I'll see you next time.